Gazelle off the screen, finds Clemens. He'll spot up from distance. Got it! Boy, any and all takers here this afternoon. Rebound by Jock. It's three on three. Utah near wing. 360 spin move in the paint. Kicks it out up top. Gazelle for three. Got it! Nice. Timeout, Purdue. Nice. To Jock. Clemens pops out now at the top of the arc. They try and use Yule to rescreen. He pops out. Three on the way. And the Hawkeyes with the lead. Dominic Yule sets the back screen for Peter Jock. A.J. Hammonds runs to Jock under the basket. Yule pops out to the three point line. Huge basket by Dominic. Thompson turned the corner and got the dunk. 55 52. Iowa's lead trimmed to three. Down low, going up strong. Utah over a couple of mountains and gets the roll. Get their offense up. Clemens off a Woodbury screen. Pick and roll. Woodbury to the glass and lays it up and in. What a nice play. Outlets to Gazelle. Long outlet pass to Bear who released and lays it up and in. How smart is that play by Nicholas Bear to get behind the defense? Wrap it up in black and gold. It was number one Michigan State at home on Tuesday. Now four days later, number 14 Purdue on the road. And at 2-0 to start Big Ten play, head coach Fran McCaffrey and the Iowa Hawkeyes have just made a loud and clear statement to the rest of the conference include us in the conversation you have to now when you come down 19 come, come back uh, 19 points on the road i mean it you know it says everything you need to know about the character of a team because at no point did they give up at no point did they blame uh, at no point did they give get down on themselves i mean you got to believe in yourself then you got to believe in each other you know pete's one for seven in the first half and he's, he comes out firing in the second half clemens same thing so now we've got more offense to go with Jared. Woody was much better in the second half offensively. And then Nicholas Bear and Dom Ewell give us a huge lift. We got zero points off the bench in the first half. Those two guys gave us huge lift, three big threes. But our defense, both in the press and closing out on three-point shooters, was a big difference because they made seven in the first half and one in the second. I think this is a testament to our character um, of this program. I mean, our seniors did a really nice job bringing us back because, you know, you're not going to come back from 17, you know, in 30 seconds. You're going to come back and um, every possession you got to stop and score, and we did a really nice job, and um, our senior leaders just really carried us today. You know, when you get down by that much at half, um, you know, it's easy to, you know, get your head down and, you know, get tentative or start jacking shots, and we didn't do that. Um, we got it done with our defense, and we knew that's how we were going to come back. And you know, we had a we had a lot of experienced guys and a lot of guys off the bench that really brought us a lift in this one. I mean, no, nobody else probably thought we was going to come back and win, but in the, in the locker room, I mean, we we all said uh, the only people who believe we're going to come back and win this game is us, and we had that belief the whole time. And um, the coach told us take it two at a time, and uh, that's what we did. We didn't try to rush him, trying to shoot a lot of threes. I mean, my shot wasn't falling, so I mean, I tried to do other things to, go, uh, to help the team out. And then uh, Jerry was hot, was on fire, so we tried to find him. Sap came out uh, ready to shoot. He uh, helped us in the beginning, so it was fun. And I told the guys at halftime, was, we're the only ones in the locker room that, that believe we can win this game. From down 17 at Purdue, ranked 14th, whatever they are. Purdue is always a tough place to play. Like we're, we're the only ones in that locker room that believe that we can win this game. And, and to everyone's credit, we came out and, and actually did what we, we preached. We believe that we could win.